Hello guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oluchi Imo and on this channel I share tips on how you can grow your cake business. I do talks on entrepreneurship, story time and vlogs as well and you're welcome. In this video I'll be showing you how I made this beautifully painted fondant cake. Yes, it's fondant cake and I painted this unicorn themed fondant cake. If there's something you're interested in then you definitely want to keep on watching as we go right into the video. So you need gin, alcohol or edible spirit for diluting your food color. You need a soft brush, you need a paint palette, white color and then the other colors you'll be using to work. So I've already mixed my purple color which I did by mixing blue and pink to give me that and I added white to it. Now the reason why I added white is so that I would have a softer shades of the different colors that I'm working with. Let me just give you a background story to the cake and how I came about painting on fondant. So my client showed me a picture or sent a picture of this design is originally not my design. She sent me a picture of what they wanted for her daughter's birthday and it looked like a buttercream cake to me, but I really didn't know how to make it work. Being that I was going to be working with fondant and not buttercream. So I was thinking of royal icing or buttercream or painting or airbrushing. I just didn't know what to go for. But I finally at the last minute decided to paint on my fondant cake and I just went with the flow. So to achieve my pastel color, or that soft shade I decided to tone it down with some whites to help me out now this was a little bit deep for me but there was really nothing I could do at this stage this is me counting <laughs> to be sure that I was gonna get all the colors in in the right proportion like the right width and not have some looking wider than the others that's why i needed to count i didn't make any marks on the body to guide me but you can feel free to do so just so that your work comes out better it comes out neater at this point i also decided to increase the width a bit that's why i did i added an extra line and then i'm going again on the body to give that smooth and even finish I tried it's not as easy as it looks or as it seems but I just tried my best so you want to go over it with your brush again so that you have an even coating and a beautiful finish at the end of the day please do not use a hard brush or a brush that has hard bristles I don't think you're gonna get the same effect so use a brush that has soft bristles like this one now we are done with that and i'm just going to brush the bottom part to be sure that everywhere is totally covered and i don't have white patches or white areas on my cake the next color is blue and as you can see i'm adding white to the blue and then diluting so the process is to add your color then include the white and then dilute with your food color before you start painting so I'm just going to mix them properly and then go right ahead to paint once I'm done with that. So that is too harsh. That is too deep. It's deeper than what I want. Remember, we're going for a pastel shade. So I'm just going to tone it down and do that again. As you can see, it is lighter. I didn't want to just keep going with that because at the end of the day, I'll be looking at a fondant cake or rainbow themed cake with strong colors and that's not what I was given that's not what they're aiming for and thank god I stuck to that at the end of the day because her dress was a pastel colored dress and the cake fit nicely with her dress at the end of the day so you can see it's a lighter shade I'm working with so I'm just going to go around and then finish up with the painting at the beginning of each color I always draw the Kind of straight line to serve as a guide for me remember i counted earlier to help guide me so i'm just gonna go straight with that line and then filling the space as i go now when i'm done with the body i'll lower my brush a bit like position my hand down a bit to the next color but i'm not going to allow it touch the next color if not i'm going to have 
purple in my blue i'm gonna have blue in my orange or yellow or green the next color and i don't want that so i'll be careful as i try to close the gaps or the seams that spacing that space between the two colors so i'm just gonna work do that gently do that you have to be very very careful you have to have steady hands as well you have to have straight hands as well if you do not have any of this then you need to borrow it from somewhere you need to get it from somewhere else you're not going to come out with a good finishing at the end of the day the next color is green but it looks like a shade of mint so i went with mint and was that mint i went with mint yeah and green no i went with mint and white or green and white i really can't remember now so i'm gonna go in with my color and paint ensure that i get even strokes and then paint in one direction that's one thing i mustn't fail to mention don't don't um go up and down right and left up and down right and left you're going to have a rough finish in your painting or with your painting so you want to go left to right left to right and try to maintain an even coating and for this i did not do like a double coating i didn't do double painting i'll just paint once ensure that it's even fine and even before i go to the next color now the next color is yellow so i'm gonna paint and then i will draw my line a straight line as possible as usual so i'll just go around to help me serve as a guide and i'll know that i'm not extending my hands or my painting beyond that point now i'm just going to fill up the spaces and then ensure that everything is nice, neat, my colors are even, and then move to the next color. So enjoy, feel, feel free to try and tag me in your creations when you do. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to turn on notifications, to drop me a kind comment, to smash the like button if you like this video and if you're finding it very useful. Thank you. So we're going to go right ahead to close the spaces between the two colors. I don't know if you can see that. So just bring your hand down a bit and then go right ahead with the colors for those of you that are in nigeria where i live the brand of colors that i used are akabado colors except for the white i can't remember what brand that is but any good brand quality any good quality brand will work so just get you a brand of um color that works really nice and fine so that's my yellow I'm done with that just ensuring that the painting is even before I move to the next color which is can you guess can you guess did you guess right the next color is orange <laughs> so I've added white to it again all the colors I added white to it to give me the pastel shade now this is hot as well it's deep but i'm just gonna go right ahead with that drawing my straight line to serve as a guide and then i will just continue don't bother about that seam behind as that you can see i had plans for it so i just went about i just concentrated on doing my painting and then at the end of the day i added something to close up the seam creatively just as you will see in the pictures after i'm done with the painting seems to me like i toned down the color a bit oops how did it get green there <laughs> well it's not so much so i just 
I'll just go ahead with the painting. So just keep brushing right, left, right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, left, right. <laughs> Anyone that suits you fine. So just go right ahead, paint within the areas that you've marked out for that particular color. Ensure that it doesn't go beyond and ensure that it doesn't also touch the other color before it. And then when I'm done with that, I'll slightly position, adjust the position of my hands on my brush and then try to close up the seams nice and fine. The next color is my favorite. Ooh, pink. <laughs> you can see that the pink is very sharp. So I added a generous amount of white to it. I kept adding and adding because I really wanted to tone it down. Next, I'm going to add my chelsea to it to tone it down and then paint i'll show you in a bit what it will look like if you don't dilute so that's a sweet color of pink now this is what it will look like not too far from this because this is just the color itself but look at that so that's really hot you see now you don't want that so you have to add a good amount of white to it and then I'll just blend that in. I'll try to blend it in. But I think I'm loving the, the deep shade a bit. <laughs> I'm loving it. So I'm just going to touch it up a bit and then work with that slightly deeper shade than what I started with. So I've touched it up a bit and then I'm just going to go around painting. I'm just going to go around the entire space now I'm at the very last point or part of the cake I'm I'm at the top almost at the top so I'll just go with my pink and I'm going to extend my hand right on top of the cake because the spacing between the top tier and this has some pink color as well so I'm gonna paint the sides and then also touch the top a bit to some extent which I'll show you so let's go with the painting i believe that you're enjoying this video please do not forget to like if you've not done that hit the like button so that we can get this video out there it's gonna help the visibility it's gonna help my channel please appreciate this beautiful work by liking this video and dropping me a kind comment so you can see that i'm at the top of the cake already it's a tall tier I can't really remember the height now, but I think it's about eight. It was about eight inches tall. If I'm not mistaken, eight inches tall. So it's a really tall cake. So feel free to measure the total height of your cake and divide by the number of colors you'll be using to give you the exact amount or height you use for each color. Now we're almost done with the cake and I will go right to the top to paint, like I mentioned earlier so that I don't have that place looking white or looking bare. We are almost done with the cake. And there you go, voila, very beautiful. Very beautiful, so you see, that's a job well done, thumbs up. Please feel free to tag me in your creations when you do, I would love to see them. I'm I bake Cake Signatures on Instagram and Oluchi Imo on Facebook tag me i'd love to see them now that's the cake it looks so so beautiful wow these are the cupcakes as well that went with the unicorn themed cupcakes made with buttercream and then that's the cake in another background and then the cupcakes as well they turned out so beautiful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to like this video and to give it a kind review 